Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we will learn how to use a loop uh, with uh, Salesforce Flow. So I will create a screen flow just to show you and hopefully you can get uh, some interesting insight at the end. So we will start uh, to create a get element and we will call it get our all accounts. And our objective will be to get all accounts in Salesforce. So it will be on the account object and uh, we will not have any condition and we will store all the record. So once we have that, we will create a loop and in this loop, we will uh, count all count account and uh, count all the account in Salesforce. So I will create uh, account from get account. Okay, so I will select that and I will click on done. And then uh, I will create, um, um, I will create an assignment so the objective will be to create a new variable, a counter that we will uh, that we will increment. So the data type will be a number, and we will put the default value as zero. I will then click on down and I will add to the counter the value one. So CPT plus, uh, plus one. Okay. Uh, increment CPT by one. Okay. So now that we have that, I will also add a screen and the screen will contain some display text element. So, and in the display text element, I will uh, display the account name. So the account name will be current item from the loop. And I will go into name and I will display my account name and I uh, will also display the account number. And for that, I will display the variable uh, CPT, okay? So I will call that uh, display, display account. Okay, back. Uh, screen display account and uh, I will click down there is one error uh, uh, what is this error account okay okay so I click on save I click on uh, loop flow account and I save it and we will uh, debug it so that you can see what the screen flow look like. So here, as you can see in Salesforce, I have some accounts. So if I just show you quickly sales uh, then I click account all accounts I have a lot or uh, like a few accounts in Salesforce 13 to be precise and here thanks to my flow I can get the name and the number of each flow because the loop is looping through each account that I have collected into the get account element and the counter increment by plus one and I can uh, loop through all of these accounts. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.